In our last video, we used TEW9 to simulate all the way to the end of 2025 to see what the future of pro wrestling looks like. Today, we're going to be going even further into the future, this time five years from today's date in real life, plus an extra few months to take us to 2030. So what will wrestling look like five years in the future? Will there be any breakout stars? Who will be the champions of AEW? WWE and beyond, and what other interesting things will we find? Once again, if you want to see a part three to this video and maybe go 10 years into the future, make sure you drop a like down below. And if we hit 100 likes, once again, we'll get that out for you as soon as possible. So like we did last time, let's start with the annual awards. First with the Male Wrestler of the Year. And in the year 2030, it's Ray Phoenix that picks this up. And I believe he's still with AEW. Yes, he is. And yeah, it looks like he's a big star now in a singles capacity, winning singles awards. The female wrestler of the year was Yuka Sakazaki, formerly of AEW. I wonder if she's back then now in the mod and she is. And she's actually the women's world champion, which is something again we'll be checking out later on. And the rest of the champions. Company of the year was All Elite Wrestling. Male tag team of the year was Ricky Starks and Will Hobbs. And are they still in AEW? Yes, they are. Female tag team of the year was Layla Hirsch and Billy Starks. Again, AEW picking up another award. It's a clean sweep so far. Match of the year was Adam Page versus Nick Jackson on AEW Collision. Again, AEW. Show of the year was AEW World's End 2029. Male Young Wrestler of the Year was Nick Wayne. And again, still with AEW. Female Young Wrestler of the Year was Azusa Inaba, and she is with Stardom and Gan Pro. Male Veteran of the Year was LA Knight or Eli Drake, and he's currently in AEW picking up the award. Female Veteran of the Year was Thunder Rosa. Is she still with AEW? And she is, so all but one so far has been AEW. Most Improved Company of the Year was Gato Move. Male Independent Wrestler of the Year was Balian Aki, and I believe this is actually a regen, or maybe it is a real person person. Yeah, has spent 13 years with Gato Move. So yeah, it is actually someone that's in the game originally. I've never actually heard of him. Female Independent Wrestler of the Year was Mina Shirakawa, who we've seen in AEW in real life recently. She's now with Stardom and Gato Move in the game. Male Manager of the Year was Vernon Huey, and he's a WWE talent, and he was spawned into the game in the year 2026, and has now reached the heights of the top of wrestling management. And Tia Trinidad, also known as Zelina Vega, is the Women's Manager of the Year and she's still with WWE. And then we'll just quickly scrub through the rest of them if you want to pause on any of those. And what we could actually do is have a look at the years between 2026 and 2030 to see who else won the main awards. So we'll just look at the best wrestlers and all of that. So we'll go to annual awards here. Male Wrestler of the Year, Will Ospreay won it in 2028 and Andrade won it in 2027. So huge there for him. And Cody Rhodes also won it there in 2027. 26. So the last award we saw was Walter or Gunther. Female Wrestler of the Year was won by Rhea Ripley five times in a row there up until 2027 before Yuka Sakazaki's picked it up twice in a row. And there's the tag teams if you want to pause there. And Male Young Wrestler of the Year was Jay Malachi. Last time we saw it was Brilliante Jr. I think. So Jay Malachi twice. Zaluha has won it as well in 2028. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And again, Nick Wayne won it this year. Billy Starks has won the Young Female Wrestler of the Year a number of times since we last checked. And we'll just check Company of the Year as well. So WWE won it a bunch of times and AEW have now won it twice in a row. And speaking of awards then, let's take a look at the Power 500 for this year. So 2029, as we sit here on January 2030. So Ray Phoenix is bell to bell, the best wrestler in the world right now. Her highest rating of 99, an average rating of 88. Kano 
Shinosuke Takeshita comes in at number two. So he's still with AEW. Will Ospreay still with AEW in at number three. Adam Page in at number four, still with AEW. Eli Drake, or the former LA Knights, who has jumped to AEW in at number five. Pack still with AEW. MJF, AEW. John Moxley, AEW. Darby Allen, AEW. And Jack Perry tops off the top ten, who is still with AEW. And I notice a bit of a theme here. Then we've got Brian Danielson, Blake Christian, Kevin Steen, who is with AEW, Wheeler Utah, AEW again, and then finally in the top 15, finally someone else breaks in with CMLL Soberano Jr. And if you want to check the rest out here, you can. I'll just do a bit of a scroll down for the top 100. It's a very interesting there, bell to bell, but how about popularity wise? Does that translate in this save, or will that be dominated by WWE? So Rhea Ripley is now officially the most popular wrestler in the world. Look at all those 97s across the board there. She's very, very popular worldwide. And yeah, average popularity of 93 worldwide. So Rhea Ripley overtaking The Rock, who is in number two now, which is huge for her. Then Cody Rhodes in at number three. MJF, I assume still with AEW and he is. Julia, who we know is with WWE and she's won some titles over there. Not currently a champion, but she has been at some point. Drew Galloway, Scarlet Bordeaux, which is huge, Andrade El Idolo, Logan Paul, Seth Rollins, Gunther, who should still be with WWE, and he is, Ilya Dragunov, Liv Morgan, Mercedes Monet, wonder where she is, yep. Yeah with WWE actually again as Sasha Banks so she's made her return there how about Liv Morgan yeah with WWE and Pete Dunn comes in at number 15 and we'll do a quick scroll again for those that want to go into more detail you can do there. So very interesting things happening there then. So whilst AEW do actually have the best wrestlers in the world in the ring, WWE have the most over. So how about company war then as WWE still sit at the top of the rankings with AEW in at number two and NXT in at number three, higher than TNA, GCW, Ring of Honor, NOAH and IWRG in that order. And who's the least popular? That's PWG with insignificant size in at number 41. So we'll carry on with the theme of looking at the world in general then and we're going to see if there's been any significant deaths across the world and yeah and there has actually been 44 deaths so far in the save. So last time I think we got to Panico. So Rocky Santana's died, Jado's died, uh, Scott Armstrong the referee, Hulk Hogan's passed away, Al Samurai, Jerry Lawler, Sergeant Slaughter, then some more luchador names. Is there any standout names here? Bret Hart has also passed away. Jake Roberts. Ric Flair has also left us. So has Dutch Mantel. Earl Hebner. So maybe there will be a Montreal screw job in the sky now. Dave Batista at the young age of 59. And drugs are thought to have played a part in his death. Tully Blanchard, Carrie Silken, Arn Anderson, Jeff Jarrett, KG Muto, and even Sean Hernandez, former TNA superstar at 56 years old. So passing away young there, him and Dave Batista. Yeah, I think they're the most notable names, or at least the ones that I recognize. And now let's take a look at WWE then and the champions of the company. So Money in the Bank then. So last time we checked, the winner of the Money in the Bank was Cody Rhodes, and he's actually picked it up yet again in the year 2026. But then the tournament wasn't held since then. So it looks like WWE have canceled the Money in the Bank concept. How about the Royal Rumble then? So Cody Rhodes, last time we checked, had matched Stone Cold Steve Austin's record of three wins overall. Austin winning it in 96, 97 and 01, I believe. We can actually check that. Ah uh, yeah, 97, 98 and 01. So almost there. So Cody Rhodes has won it six times in a row, doubling the Rattlesnake's record, with Drew McIntyre most recently picking up his second Royal Rumble win overall in the 2029 match. The undisputed WWE champion is Cody Rhodes, and I believe he was the champion last time we checked, or was it Roman Reigns? It might have been. Yeah, it was Roman, because I remember Cody dropped it to Roman. Then, yeah, then, then we're on to Gunther there. That's the one we didn't see. Then he lost it to Carmelo Hayes, and now Cody has the belt. 
belt. The women's money in the bank has not been competed for in this save for some reason. And the women's Royal Rumble winner then is, last time we checked, Rhea Ripley, I think? Yeah, it would have been. Then Liv Morgan won two in a row. Rhea Ripley once again winning, picking up her third Royal Rumble win. And then Julia, who is having a hell of a career over there in WWE, won it in 2029. The WWE Intercontinental Champion then is Ridge Holland. Since the last time we checked, which I think would have been Carmelo Hayes, Logan Paul's won it, Seth Rollins, Logan Paul again. Kenny Omega has picked up the Intercontinental Championship in the year 2027. Dean Ambrose who has returned to WWE, the former John Moxley now, Obafemi, Davey Bang, Grayson Waller and Obafemi, and like, as I say, Rich Holland. The WWE Speed Champion, if you want to pause and have a look there, we're not going to cover that in too much detail, we've got a lot to get through here. The WWE Tag Team Champions are currently Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. The United States Champion is Grayson Waller, maybe it's now the Australian Championship, because we know heels sometimes rename regional belts from time to time to their own country. Uh, Ridge Holland, Jacob Fatu, Darius Martin, former AEW, Marcus Mathers, and Rey Mysterio have all held it. So as LA Knight, and I think Ilya Dragunov was the last champion we saw. The WWE Women's Champion is Rhea Ripley, a belt held by Liv Morgan, Bianca Belair, and Mariah May. I did say expect her to go to WWE in the last round because she was released by AEW for some reason. Bianca Belair has also held it three times overall, actually four if you count that one. And Julia picked it up for her second time. Kenzie Page, Dakota Kai, Bailey, and Julia, who I think was the champion last time, or was it Bailey? The WWE Women's Tag Team Champions is Tiffany Stratton and JC Jane, but once again, I'll let you pause here if you're interested in that. There's a lot of names to get through once again. I don't think we can keep doing the tag team belts. Uh, Bianca Belair is the current Women's World Champion. Julia's held that as well. So is Rhea Ripley. Julia's held it twice. Liv Morgan, Nia Jax, Bianca Belair, and Io Sky. I think Bianca was the champion last time. So the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, I think was CM Punk, wasn't it? And it was since vacated and then Finn Balor won it. Pete Dunne, huge for him. Andrade, huge for him. And Kenny Omega is the reigning champion. Let's have a quick look at Kenny Omega's WWE career then. So, so when did he join? He left AEW in August 2027 and immediately signed with WWE. He was injured at one point and was out for a couple of months there from March to June so not too long maybe three months then he signed a new deal with the company two years later and he's still been there ever since we've seen it all so far but yeah he is a former WWE Intercontinental and a former WWE World Heavyweight Champion so joining Cody there in that big jump as an EVP from AEW to go to WWE in the final stretch of his career you would imagine as he edges closer to retirement at the age of 46 and the WWE World Tag Team Champions. Again, I'm not going to go through this one. You can uh, have a look if you want. But it looks like there's been some interesting tag teams, including Bron Breaker and Finn Balor. And it looks like Rusev has also returned to the company. So some big jumps there back and forth between AEW and WWE, or at least in the WWE direction. So how about things going the other way? We do know that they have Kevin Steen and Eli Drake, or LA Knight. But how have the championship belts been shaping up over in the land of all elite. So let's have a look then as the Continental Classic has been won by Kenny Omega, Jack Perry, Brian Danielson and Konosuke Takeshita since we last looked. The current AEW International Champion is Adam Page, a belt that's been held by a number of people across the board there, including names such as Vikingo, Will Ospreay, Blake Christian, so he's having quite a career there in AEW, and even John Silver and Kevin Steen holding the belt at one point or another. So the AEW WTBS champion there is Funda Rosa. Harley Cameron's held it at one point. So is Jamie Hayter. So she's come back from injury. Mercedes Monet has also held it for a sixth time. So she's currently the record holder for most TBS titles, despite now being in WWE as Sasha Banks once again. The AEW TBS champion is Chaz Betts, also known as Chad Gable. So he's made the jump the other way as well, with Jay White also holding it at one point. Jack Perry now with two who's the record holder it 
is Miro. So he's had it four times. And another one, another title record in AEW belonging to a current WWE superstar. The AEW Women's World Champion is Yuka Sakazaki, the best female wrestler in the world right now. While she's not as popular as Rhea Ripley, bell to bell, she's going to put on a better performance apparently. And the belt has been held by not too many surprising names. Maybe Harley Cameron being the most surprising. Athena's picked it up as well. Jamie Hayter for a second time. Thunder Rose's now got three reigns under her belt. Tantai Mello, I think, was the champion last time we checked. And Darby Allen is now the AEW World Champion. He's had seven defenses so far, and he won it off Will Ospreay in the year 2029, August to be precise. I wonder if that was at all in then. And yeah, it was. Darby Allen defeated Will Ospreay in his hometown for the AEW World Title. Ospreay's held it, the Kingo's held it, Okada has held it, and so has Adam Page again there. He's got three reigns in total, and the belt was actually vacated by Hook in March 2026. I think Hook was the champion last time we checked. So some interesting new champions there, and there's been a lot of champions over the last five years of people that haven't held it before. And once again, we're not going to go into too much depth on the tag belts. Uh, Daniel Garcia and Joe Bailey, who is William Regal's son in WWE as Charlie Dempsey right now, are the AEW World Tag Team Champions. And then you can look at the reigns if you want. The AEW World Trios Champions are Wheeler Utah, Kyle Fletcher, and Mark Davis. So a bit of a mix of the Blackpool Combat Club and the United Empire there. And Eli Drake has also held the belts at one point with Daniel Garcia and Joe Bailey. The FTW Champion is Brody King. And there's the other champions if you want to have a look. The Full Gear World Title Eliminator Tournament is there for those that are interested. And the Owen Hart Cup has not been competed for at all in this save. So a bit of a bug there as well, like we saw with the Women's Money in the Bank and apparently the Men's Money in the Bank. So where's NXT at then? And who were the big stars over there still? So we're just going to look at the main championships here. NXT Champion is Joe Hendry still. And he's held it for 1,771 days and he's only had six title defenses. So is he actually still in NXT? He is. He's in both NXT and TNA. And is he injured or something? And it doesn't look like he's been injured. So that's a strange one. NXT Heritage Cup winner, as you can see here, it looks like it's currently vacant. Damon Kemp is the North American champion. Sage Chance and Tommy Rant are the NXT tag team champions. Lee Summers is the NXT women's champion. I think that's a regen. Yeah, turned pro in December 2024 and the women's North American champion is Delta. So one company we didn't check last time was Ring of Honor. So let's just see who the Ring of Honor world champions have been. So Eddie Kingston is now a two-time champion. Gringo Loco, Mark Briscoe having two reigns now in total. Nick Comorato, Gringo Loco again. It was vacant. Christopher Daniels had it. Darius Martin had it. Then we go to current day where Mark Briscoe is the champion. Let's also check the women's world title, which is held by Trish Adora, which is her third time with the belt. Alice Crowley, Diamante, Nyla Rose, Red Velvet, Marina Shafir, Layla Hirsch, Billy Starks, Mercedes Martinez, and Kira Hogan are all people that have held the belt as well after it was vacated by current real life champion Athena. So some interesting stuff there in Ring of Honor and some fresh names on the card. And I was about to check New Japan Pro Wrestling, but it looks like they're not actually on the list. So that leads me to think that they're actually out of business at this point. So let's check that. There it is. NJPW go out of business. New Japan Pro Wrestling announced on 10th October 2028 that they are closing, blaming mounting financial problems. So huge news there, not only in Japanese wrestling, but also worldwide. So how about we go on a bit of a detour then and see what some of the top names in New Japan are now doing. So Tetsuya Naito is currently unemployed. It doesn't look like he's found work or has maybe chose not to have work. We're just going to work a search and do it that way, actually. So check Gabriel Kidd. He hasn't gone to any of the top two American promotions. He's gone to Gato Move and Gan Pro. We'll see if Hiroshi Tanahashi is still going. Maybe he's retired at this point. Yeah, he is. But he is in Basara and TJPW, either as a color commentator or a road agent. How about Takahashi? He's currently unemployed. How about Zack Sabre Jr.? Currently unemployed. Sonada, the controversial IWGP world champion of the past is also unemployed. How about Evil? Another one that was controversial. He's now in All Japan Pro Wrestling. Shingo Takagi currently unemployed. And the reigning IWGP World Heavyweight Champion John Moxley 
in real life is actually back with AEW. We did see him on the WWE title histories. So let's have a look at that. So, so he was hired by WWE in June 2027. So it looks like he was able to sign with WWE early and maybe worked both for a period of time. He mustn't have had an exclusive deal with AEW, which has allowed that to happen. And he wasn't there long at all, only a couple of years. And then he was hired back by AEW and then left WWE. And he's been there ever since. So yeah, a brief stint back in WWE for John Moxley there. So in that vein, then we're going to have a look at WWE's releases over the years instead of looking at it individually. So where were we last time? And we know that Jimmy Uso left. We saw that Sheamus had left. John Cena had left after his retirement tour. Jay Uso had left as well. So I think we were maybe up to Corey Graves or so. So let's just pick out any notable names here. So Ava Rain left and daughter of The Rock, also known as Simone Johnson, but she is now back with the company. So she must have had a stint on the independent scene or something like that. Shinsuke Nakamura would leave at one point and he's still unemployed and he did retire in the end, actually. So that was in June 2026 that he was let go. AJ Styles would leave and he's actually still on the independent scene working for Revolver and Black Label Pro. So still going there is the phenomenal one. Randy Orton would leave. I assume he retired as well and he did. CM Punk left. So let's see what he's been doing. So he's now retired once again and we'll check his news. So he was injured a couple of times. He would ultimately leave and retire and was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Roman Reigns has left WWE. He's not retired, but is a current free agent and hasn't been picked up since leaving WWE. So I wonder when that happened. So 2027, has he gone back since? I don't think he has because it wasn't in the news. So he's been a free agent ever since. Is he doing like Hollywood or something like that? It doesn't look like it. Maybe he's just not interested in wrestling anymore or nobody wants him, which is a surprise. But yeah, he's now a free agent and has been for a few years now. I've seen the likes of Big E leave. I don't yeah, he's still retired. He didn't return to the ring in the end. And we've got Nick Khan leaving. Abby the Witch, also known as Nikki Cross. LA Knight. There's quite a lot of names here, isn't there? Chelsea Green left. What did she do in the end? She's currently unemployed. We know Kevin Owens left and went to AEW. Rey Mysterio, I assume, has retired. He's actually still in NXT, though. So he must be a manager there. Io Sky's left. Sami Zayn's left. Currently unemployed. Hasn't returned as El Generico, as far as I can tell. Yep. He hasn't worked since leaving WWE. And we'll lastly look at Drew McIntyre. Left WWE and hasn't done anything since. And he's only recently left though in July. It's now January of the next year. So maybe these free agents will land somewhere else. So how about signings then? Is there anything notable in here for WWE? John Silver ended up with WWE. And we saw him in the title history. Jay White has signed with WWE as well. Huge signing for them. Mercedes Monet as we've seen. Rey Mysterio went back. Dax Harwood is in WWE and I don't see cash. So it looks like FTR are no more. Roosh was hired. Austin Aries went back to WWE. Tony Storm as well. And there's some big movements here. Enzo Amore was signed by WWE for NXT and then was called up to the main roster again. Is he still going? He is. He's on the main roster. And even Sammy Guevara has landed in WWE. I think this list is just far too long to even go through, but there's been a lot of movements. Samoa Joe's back. Christopher Daniels finally lands in WWE. Kenny Omega, as we saw earlier. And yeah, if there's anything I'm missing here, do let me know in the comments. There's a lot of names going in and out of WWE at this point. Bill Goldberg back with WWE. Is he retired? He is. But he's a play-by-play -play commentator. Very interesting there for Big Bill. Not that Big Bill. And yeah, I think that's about it there. It's hard to tell with AEW because they're just loan in and out all the time and they appear on the same screen as releases. So yeah, Chad Gable, we saw John Moxley come back. Eric Ambrose was hired. So is he a regen? He is. Somebody from the Monster Factory debuted on October 2024. And yeah, from what I can tell, we've seen the main ones in the title history. So Eli Drake, Kevin Steen, and Charlie Dempsey is another big one that they brought in. They also brought in Brutus Creed and Julius Creed as a tag team, and they're still there working. But I think that's it for this video, but if you do want to see me go even further into the future, do let me know in the comments below and drop a like on the video to show your support. And also make sure you head over to the Grey Dog Software Forum to vote for Curb Stomp City 2024. Your country needs you. But until next time, Peace.